All right, coming in at number five this week, the red team is trying to capture tribute here at the bottom of Cursed Hollow. Now, Void Prison goes off, gonna set up for the perfect grapple bomb on three members of the red team. However, the red team gets out of it, ETC jumps in, Illidan goes in as well, but the red team with the counter engage, and the five-man devouring mob peels off all of the blue team, and now the re-engage from the red team is gonna clean up the blue team with the beautiful counter engage from that Uther set up into the perfect Devouring Maw shrugs off the blue team's initiation for their own perfectly executed counter initiation. All right, coming in at number four this week, we see the red team Arthas in the mid lane here on Cursed Hollow, and blue team Nova trying to fend off a pretty big push by herself. She's one of the only heroes left for her team. Arthas is heading down to the bottom lane. We'll see what he does. He's gonna summon a Syndragosa from way downtown and it's gonna travel across the map and freezes Nova in place. This allows Abathur to symbiote a minion and take out Nova for a very out of the box use of Syndragosa sniping Nova from across the map. And our number three play for this week, the blue team is trying to capture the golem camp here at the top of Cursed Hollow. Now we see Falstad across the trees waiting for his chance to strike. His team gets vision on the golem for him. He rolls in and gusts the entire blue team away for a surgical steal of the boss. Now his team charges in and denies the escape of the blue team with a nicely coordinated attack after a beautifully executed boss steal. And at number two this week, the blue team is trying to catch two heroes from the red team out of position. Sitches tries to slow them down so Janet can get away, but he's gonna sacrifice himself. But this gives Gazzle the chance to throw out a big gravel bomb, pulls in all five heroes, and in the blink of an eye, it's over for the blue team as Nova and Jana synchronize their damage for an absolute annihilation. And coming in at number one this week, we see Abathur and Murky setting up shop near the entrance of the red team's base here at the top of Cursed Hollow. Now Murky with Abathur's support is doing a lot of damage to this Stitches and he takes out the Stitches although he dies but it's not a big deal for Murky because he's gonna respawn at the egg. Now Sylvanas notices that Murky is coming out from this position so she's gonna try to contest this and hopefully take out the egg but she's taking a lot of damage because this Murky and Abathur combo is just too strong. Murky goes down but Sylvanas goes down as well and there's two kills for Murky and Abathur. Now Chen and Nova discover this position and things are looking bad for Abathur and Murky's egg. However, Nova is getting taken out by some well-placed Abathur mines and Murky is able to take out Chen. And this is ridiculous. That's four kills for these two friends. Stitches now comes back and tries to take his turn again. Gorgeous Murky, the red team is desperate at this point. But Abathur clones Murky, a great tactic that blocks the Stitches in into this death trap and blows up Stitches. Now there's two Murkies roaming around the map. Sylvanas comes back from the respawn and goes in trying to pick off this egg. But these two Murkies might be a little too much for her as the Inven and Venom goes off and now she gets taken out. And that's what, six kills for this Murky Abathur combo. This is crazy out now. Chen and Nova are at it again. Round two for these two. And March of the Murlocs goes down and Nova gets stuck and gets taken out. And now Chen is in huge trouble. He has to go elemental form to try to escape this onslaught that the Murky and Abathur combo has been inflicting on his team. Now he tries to make the escape. These two elemental chans are trying to get away, but Stitches is there hot on his tail. And we see Murky coming in from the other side, blocks Chen in and takes him out for what? Eight kills between Murky and Abathur. Absolutely ridiculous onslaught from these two unlikely predators. Alright, and with that, that's it for this week's HOT's Hottest Top Plays of the Week. I have a small announcement that I want to let you guys know of, and it's that in-game we're starting a chat channel, channel Heroes Forecast, so just do a slash join Heroes Forecast, and there you can find teammates to play with if you're sick of solo queuing. If you see me there, I'm on the NA server in that channel mostly all the time, uh, and I'm free. I'm usually down for a game. We just want a place for our community members to kind of connect with each other and get games. Because this game is not nearly as fun without a community, without a team. And of course, as usual, if you have a baller play that you want to submit for a future Hot Hottest Plays, go ahead and send the replay with the time code of where your play appears and a short description of what your play is to hotshottestplays at gmail.com. Hope to see your awesome play in a future episode. Thanks for watching, everybody, and tune in next week for more Hot's Hottest Top Plays of the Week.